what's it guys, Kryptonic here, and that's right, the Fortnite Summer Event is here. Let's get right into this. Alright, for starters, the Summer Event is actually called the No Sweat Summer Event, and if you didn't know, the Tilted Voting is already starting. Basically, about a month ago, this thing started called the Block 2.0, where we had to build our own buildings just to rebuild Tilted. Basically, the way it works now is that you have to spend your gold, kind of like last season, but instead of voting for weapons and items, you're voting for a building. I'll pop it up on screen over here, but yeah, this is what the Tilted Voting looks like. Alright, next up on the list, the Boogie Bums are actually back in today's Summer Update. Basically, if you didn't know how the boogie bomb works, you just throw it on an enemy, they start dancing, they can't shoot back, and then they're easy kills. Let me tell you that in zero build, the boogie bombs are extremely good. Like, you could throw one down, and then you could easily kill them with the two-shot shotgun. So all I'm saying is definitely be careful for them. And don't worry, they're not in arena, because let's be honest, all the sweats will probably start complaining. But yeah, the boogie bombs are back. Next up on the list, ice creams have been added to Fortnite, and I'm pretty sure the best way to find them is actually at Chonker Speedway. Unfortunately, I was unable to get any gameplay of the new ice creams but here i'll put up a picture on screen but from what i know the ice cream cones actually have all different effects one gives you the icy feet if i'm correct the one that slides one has the effect of the guzzle juice which was in a few seasons ago i'm pretty sure one has the effect of the spicy effect that makes you run faster and then there's a common ice cream cone which basically just heals your health the legendary ice cream cone if i'm correct actually heals your health and shield by a lot but yeah those are all the ice creams in today's new fortnite update guys i do just want to say if you're you're picking up any of the summer skins if you do want to support me make sure you use code kryptonic when you're copping them because first of all the summer skins are absolutely lit and second of all it's probably the best way to support me moving on next we actually have the zero point flopper if i'm correct the last time we've seen this was in chapter 2 season 5 so basically a long time ago i'm pretty sure the most simple way to find it is actually by fishing basically you just eat it and then it lets you dash midair if you don't use it correctly though you could die to fall damage so i do warn you be careful now this is just my random opinion but i mean like how come a zero point related item came back who knows maybe it actually relates to the storyline all right but yep the zero point fish is back all right guys if you didn't know a dragon ball z collaboration is about to happen and trust me i'm excited as a pretty god darn good dragon ball z fan i'm pretty excited for this one because i never thought we'd actually see it currently in the collaboration we have the goku skin coming to the game we got a vegeta skin also and a lord beera skin we also have a mysterious female character skin which we do not know who that is currently, but if you don't want to miss out on that reveal of the new character and many other updates to Fortnite, make sure you turn on that bell. There's also a space plug glider relating to Dragon Ball Z, so pretty excited about that. And we're also going to get some Dragon Ball quests to earn some Dragon Ball related cosmetics, which is absolutely amazing because I'm pretty sure we all love free items. But yeah, Dragon Ball Z collaboration coming out soon. Welp, Goku's the guy from Fortnite now. This part isn't really part of the update, but it was added a little bit ago. There is a new reality tree at Sleepy Sounds now. And honestly, I like it. But honestly, I'm okay with some more changes in Fortnite. I love the map changes. So I'm pretty sure skating isn't in Fortnite yet, and who knows, maybe it won't actually get added. Because in this game you're watching right now, I actually landed at where the skateboards are supposed to be. And I guess they aren't there, so who knows, maybe they're actually not in the game. I'm not quite sure, but yeah. Definitely stay tuned, because who knows, maybe they'll get added. Oh yeah, guys, crash pads are getting involved soon. I don't know exactly when, but it's probably gonna be like in a week or two. To be honest, it could just be crash pads that are on the map or it could be the crash pads that are like the items we could use but yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video so hopefully you're excited for the summer update because i know i am too i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one all right let's go i'll be taking that dub make sure to like and subscribe